Kelly's Reading Corner, Kelly's Reading Corner. Because what else would I be doing with two kids during a pandemic but reading picture books? So join us. Hey everybody, welcome to Kelly's Story Corner. Today I'm going to be reading the book with no pictures by BJ Novick. And there is a warning on the back that I'm gonna to read to everybody just so we're all clear. Warning, this book looks serious, but it is actually completely ridiculous. If a kid is trying to make you read this book, the kid is playing a trick on you. You will end up saying silly things and making everybody laugh and laugh. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. This is a book with no pictures. And I won't turn it around and show you any pictures because there are none. Just so we're clear. It might seem like no fun to have someone read a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious, except... Here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say no matter what. That's the rule, that's the deal. So that means even if words say blork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf, wait, what a second, wait a second, what? If this, this isn't the kind of book I wanted to read and I have to say every word the book says, uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it is time for me to sing you my favorite song. A it's song. amazing! Really? I have to sing a song? Yes! Glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? Oh, this book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No, there are more pages. I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo. My favorite one. Is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. Yeah, that's how I feel. Also, the kids I'm reading this book to are the best kids ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And these kids are the smartest kids too because this kid chose this book even though it has no pictures. Because the kids know this book makes grown-ups have to say silly things. Sorry. And make silly sounds. Like... Uh oh. Oh no, oh no, here it comes. <gasps> Badunky face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. Again, again, again. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. Okay.